With more than 114 millimeters of rain within a six-hour period, residents of Denry have come to expect flooded drains, impassable streets, overflowing bridges, and a significant impact on commercial activity. The unusual downpour of April 12th tested the engineering designs of the Denry Flood Mitigation Works, which have been a work in progress in the face of this perennial challenge. There's a central drain that goes through Denry from the Green Mountain area that brings in a tremendous amount of water on its way to the sea. There's the Mole River as well that carries water um, from the internal part of the, the country, from the center of the island. And um, all that goes through Denry and goes into the sea. So, um, and, and coupled with the fact that Denry is, part of Denry is below sea level. The Denry South flood mitigation contract was awarded through a competitive bidding process, the Triple L Construction Company, and has been undertaken in multiple phases. The project um, entails um, the construction of the central drain, improvement to the um, Chualo drain, as the drain further north, a large one, um, the construction of uh, two retention ponds, and a pumping station, and an outlet into the river. We've constructed the, the central drain most of it, the outlet into the river and um, um, the ponds are coming up next and then after that we'll follow the, the, the pumps. Um, we are at what stage? We are at the central drain stage um, practically 90%. This week's deluge was a dress rehearsal for this flood mitigation engineering feat. I'm impressed with what we've done and the performance. I did not expect at, at this stage for it to be performing so well. What we can expect to see now is um, further improvements um, with the, the network. When it's completed, the idea is that in the extreme events, you will see flooding. You cannot eliminate flooding. Eh? Let's get that right. You can't um, anywhere. But we can design for flood events that, um, that's reasonable, that comes every one in 20 years. Um, for the DVRP, we use one in 25 years. The comprehensive re-engineering of the drainage system with Denry South forms part of the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project for St. Lucia, which aims to reduce urgent disaster susceptibility and increase long-term climate resilience by addressing the multifaceted risk associated with hydrometeorological events. The project consists of five components, the first one being the risk reduction and adaptation measures. This component would support structural and non-structural flood and landslide risk reduction interventions and climate adaptation measures to improve St. Lucia's resilience against current and future climate shocks. Denry South's re-engineered flood mitigation system is a testament to the mandate of the DVRP.